Hello everyone. Uh, I'm doing this as a rebuttal video to Marky's uh, show and tell video on the uh, Ivory Gripped 1911. Um, I thought I would uh, introduce you guys to a retired 1911 that I have. It's uh, a Colt 1911A1. Um, uh, it's got giraffe bone grips opposed to Marky's Ivories. Um, this is a gun that I've owned since 1984, 1985. I've owned it a long time. I've shot competition with it. I've carried it. I've, I've, I've shot many thousands of rounds through it. This is a phenomenal gun. Um, but again it's a gun that's retired and it stays in the gun safe um it's it's old school um it's got old school millet combat 100 sights on it uh it's got an old school spur hammer um no magwell uh, i do currently have a compensated uh barrel bushing on it uh, it currently has a GI plug and guide rod. I'm not running a full length in it, which I have in the past. Um, this gun has uh, been refinished multiple times, and the last refinish was about 10 or so years ago, 8, 10 years ago. Uh, this is a steel grade Duracoat finish that I did myself, and when I was finishing this gun. Um, I was talking to Marky about it, and he's like, well, what kind of grips are you going to put on it? And I'm like, well, I mean, I'm currently running uh, wooden slabbed Colt medallion grips, but, you know, uh, uh, they were two-toned in color. The outboard grip was a lot lighter than the inboard grip from being worn up against the skin. And Marky's like, well, I have a set of giraffe bone grips that I'm not using, if you'd like to put it on there. So Marky actually donated these giraffe bone grips to this project, which was greatly appreciated. Um, and it really makes this gun pop. I mean, these giraffe bone grips uh, on with this finish, man, I mean, this gun just looks fantastic. Um, I mean, all in all, this is a... I mean, it's a fun gun to shoot. It's not a gun I would want to carry on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, it, it's not something that, that the average person would want to use as a daily carry. Again, it's old school. Um, it doesn't have a beaver tail safety. You know, it's just got a standard GI safety. Um, as a matter of fact, the... <laughs> the the only few parts that are still GI on this gun, you know, are the frame, the slide, the, the safety, uh, and the controls. And I don't know if you can see that, but the controls are still pretty much GI. But, you know, back in the 80s when you were shooting competition, you didn't have a whole lot of fancy parts. You know, it's you, you worked with what you had. Um, would I want to shoot competition with this gun today? Oh, hell no. I'd just, I'd, I'd get, sm actually, th this gun just wouldn't even be in competition today. But in the 1980s, it was a, uh, it was a competitor. I wasn't a competitor. I actually kind of sucked, but, you know, but it was fun while it lasted. But anyway, I, getting away from that, I thought I would just kind of let you guys, uh, uh, see what giraffe bone grips on a 1911 looked like opposed to ivory grips. Um, aged ivory grips look amazing. New ivory grips look fake. Aged giraffe bone grips look amazing. New giraffe bone <laughs> grips look amazing because they don't have to go through the aging process that ivory does. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, uh, and just remember, it's all about shooting guns and having fun. Uh, you guys have a great day.